Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on just a bunch of DC news that is out there. But, you know, as most of you would or should know, maybe both, maybe one of them, it isn't raining news at the moment, which isn't overly surprising, but sometimes news comes to those who seek it or just want it. And that is what has happened over the past, like, couple days, few days, roughly like that, uh, especially when it comes to Peacemaker and its, well, upcoming second season, but just second season as a whole, uh, but also some other minor things as well, which we'll touch upon in this video. So, these some amount of stuff to talk about today, considering the scarcity of news as a whole and, you know, just interesting things to talk about in regards to that news. So, the first thing to talk about today is Peacemaker related. So, this is due to the fact that we got some news that people were, I guess, waiting for regarding it, and that is on the filming side of things. You know, when is it going to actually start season two filming? And that was revealed by Jennifer Holland, who, of course, plays Amelia Harcourt, or just Harcourt, you know, as most people would refer to her as, uh, where she revealed that they will start filming in the summer of this year. Now, this is much sooner than people thought, as all the talk was maybe they could start, you know, in the fall or by the end of this year, roughly, if people were available, but it could easily slide over into the beginning of 2025 as they started filming, just because of scheduling and stuff like that. And then, of course, James Gunn is now in production with what is now known as Superman or formerly Superman Legacy, so you would think that they might finish filming that up and then get into Peacemaker, maybe even like a month or so break after that finishes production and everything like that. But yeah, it was confirmed by James Gunn that summer is the start of shooting, uh, shooting, not shooting, 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 even a word. Anyway, shooting for Peacemaker season two, where he also did reveal, or I guess confirmed that season one of Peacemaker is not canon to his upcoming DCU, starting with Superman, I guess also Creature Commandos, but season two will be. Now, he did state that events from season one will have happened in the canon of season two. This is probably just to allow story to flow along but events from season one are not canon. Now, it does sound confusing when he puts it like that, and there was a decent amount of people online that were confused and just wondering, okay, well, how is that going to work? And I think the big thing that isn't canon is, of course, like the Justice League, you know, the Justice League cameo at the end specifically, you know, mainly with Flash and Aquaman actually being in the scene, you know, Jason Moe and Ezra Miller, but I think also just the, like the overall references and name drops of certain heroes or even identities, especially the heroes that already existed in, in the DCU at that time, like Flash, like Superman, Batman, uh, Wonder Woman, of course, Aquaman's mentioned a bunch, obviously appears as well, uh, Green Arrow, even though that character wasn't established in the universe, and just some other characters like that, that were all mentioned. And in James Gunn's like new DCU that's coming up in the canon there, do all of them exist at this point? If not, then you'd sort of just want to clean that slate, at least to the extent where, like, you know, they wouldn't be mentioned freely in conversation. Like, are they relevant enough in this new canon in the DCU where they'd be brought up, like, oh, you fly around, or you're like Superman, or you're as quick as the Flash. Would that happen? Or do they not exist at all in regards to the public eye at the very least? Like, the characters of Barry Allen, Arthur Curry, etc., exist, but they're not the heroes yet, or at least in the public eye yet. So I do believe it's going to be things like that and just the various situations around them that aren't canon, but then all like the Peacemaker character story, like the stuff with the crew and his dad and all that stuff from season one, that's all going to be canon and will carry over into season two. It's really just the stuff that was referenced and maybe like slightly shown on screen. That's where they're going to go, okay, yeah, that didn't happen. Just sort of forget that. And we're not going to sort of start doing that again in season two. Now, James Gunn did like a comment on Instagram. I think it was like that like the comment was sort of comparing what they're doing here with Peacemaker season two to what happens in James Bond, where it's the same character of, you know, 007 James Bond, but things around him change and there's like just like a certain person in a certain role will be different or the lead up to the character at that point in time will be different or just where things are placed kind of uh, like throughout the canon or chronologically and stuff like that. That's what's happening with Peacemaker. I think the whole point with it is like, don't overthink it. Just go into it. You know, Peacemaker 1 Season 1 exists and it probably is very, it's, it's much more relevant to Season 2 than it is not relevant, but it's also just not, they're not going to, I guess, reference the Justice League cameo and probably remove all that stuff that was referenced from Season 1. So it, it sounds confusing when you word it initially, but it's pretty simple when you just head into Season 2 and just forget that minor stuff that happened. Now, the big thing with this is that this is coming up soon. A summer filming start is only like, you know, not tomorrow, but it's not, it's it's closer 
to where we are now than when we initially thought season two was going to start filming. And James Gunn did reveal that it will be filmed simultaneously with Superman. Not like, oh, okay, as soon as Superman ends, then we jump into Peacemaker. It's going to be filming while Superman's still filming, with him also confirming that, uh, you know, something that many thought would be the case, especially if the show did start filming this year, let alone in summer, he will not be directing all the episodes, which was initially, initially going to be the case. Of course, this is a, because of Superman. Now, he was going to direct every episode, like I said, but that was before Superman happened and even before he was made the co-head of DC Studios. So this change was very much expected, at least if it was happening any time this year and maybe even early next year as well. But he isn't directing no episodes. He will direct some of the episodes. I would assume that they are some of the later ones. Uh, you know, I think it's eight episodes, I think. So he might direct the final two or three, unless there is a pause in production for Superman at some point for whatever, you know, whatever reason that might be. And he's able to film an earlier episode or episodes, maybe the season premiere if that lines up. That's just a wait and see, of course. I'm not too sure how what their timeline was for episode uh, for season one filming, like per episode. I would assume it was about two weeks. But yeah, I'm not too sure. So it probably just depends on scheduling. Now, Waller or the Amanda Waller show, that is still coming. James Gunn did touch upon that. And it, it does appear that it's going to be the show following Peacemaker, both in regards to the filming side of things, but also the release date side of things. But it, James Gunn did clarify that it was stunted a bit by the strikes. So it is just getting back on its feet after that setback. And, you know, it's, it's rolling along now, but it just got a bit of a setback because that strikes, just like, just like a bunch of other movies and TV shows and everything did as well. But Waller was in that, like, the middle of its writing, I think, like in a, like Peacemaker was done, I think, um, or at least Peacemaker was just done by James Gunn and he was focusing on that by himself while Waller has a bit more of a creative team behind it. So a bit of a delay, but it's, 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 it's still getting there, but it does seem that the release date or the release schedule in order, I guess, for this DCU that's coming up is obviously Creature Commandos, which comes at the end of this year, Superman middle of next year, Peacemaker season two, probably very soon after Superman, like maybe in the fall of next year, maybe just before that, and then Walla, whenever that might be. That appears to be the release order for the upcoming DCU, and then presumably Supergirl to follow after the, uh, those ones. But of course, with Supergirl, there's no director confirmed at this point. There's a rumor about a couple of directors that it might be attached to that, but but there isn't one attached at this point. At this point, in the very least, yeah. But you know, I'm sure we'll, we'll learn more about the release schedules or the order specifically in the coming months. Maybe at San Diego Comic Con if DC has a presence. Uh, question mark on that one. And just two minor things to finish up the video. The first one is that Karen Gillan, who most people would know as Nebula from the Guardians of the Galaxy franchise, she said she's interested in playing Poison Ivy in Guns DCU now. She wants to portray the relationship between Ivy or Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn in live action very much. That's been, obviously it's been the comics, but obviously it's been much more focused on, or at least in regards to the public eye and people knowing about it in the Harley Quinn animated show. Now, of course, we know that Gunn is very favorable of working with people that he has worked with before. It doesn't mean there's necessarily a complete bias where if, you know, this person's like, I want to play this role, that he goes, okay, fair enough, you can play them. I think if Gunn thinks they're the best or a good fit for the role, then he's probably going to lean towards them because he wants to work with people that he's comfortable around and, you know, knows can do the job rather than, I guess, going with someone who's a bit maybe dodgy or something like that. Now, obviously, you know, people jumped on this. She's natural redhead, everything like that. So people are always going to lean towards it. Obviously, with the Harley Quinn aspect, who is it? Is it Margot Robbie? I saw something that, like, I think Gunn had replied to it. And no, Gunn had liked something, and it was about, like, it wasn't specifically about Margot Robbie, but it was about, like, keeping people on. And he was the, the comment was sort of suggesting that some people are still going to stay on from the previous universe, but it wasn't going to be many. So... I think Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn is probably one of the ones you're probably going to see stay on, but it probably depends on Margot Robbie and what she wants to do. And the final thing of interest, I was going to probably include this in a video going over anything Superman related, but I don't think we're going to get it anytime soon, at least for the next week or two. So I thought I'd just drop it in this video, but there was a report that we know that they were filming the Fortress or well, I don't know, James Gunn didn't call it the Fortress of Solitude. I think he just called it the Fortress, but it's the Fortress of Solitude. Maybe they're not going to call it that. I'm not too sure in the movie. We'll, we'll wait and see. But the whole situation in Norway where they were filming there, you know, we know that Superman was there. We know that they filmed some stuff with Superman. Now, apparently also on set was Lex Luthor, played by Nicholas Holt, and his crew of the engineer and Eve Tessmacher and maybe 
Otis, if that character's going to be there, but at least the engineer and Eve Tess Mocker were there apparently as well. Now, this is not confirmed. There's no photos or anything like that. This is just a report that's coming out. So make of that what you will in regards to theories as to what is happening there and if that is actually the case and everything like that. But I think that's interesting. I know what the scene would specifically be. Maybe they filmed a couple of things. So they filmed like something that happens in the first 30 minutes. And then the thing with Lex Luthor and those other characters is in like the the like the last 30 minutes or like an hour and a half into the movie or something like that. So maybe that's what's happening there. But yeah, I thought that was interesting that they weren't just filming with Superman, if that was the case. But I guess if they were going to film anything that was in the snow, they're going to film as much as they could if there were scenes that took place there. So get it all done in one trip rather than have to go back there six months from now or something like that. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you drop a like and show support. Let me know in the comment section down below your various thoughts and everything went over. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.